Good morning. Today we're at Ashford in the Water in the Peak District of Derbyshire, just off the A6. It's the A6, is it? No, it's not. We don't know where we are again. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be the A6. We're just so. off a main road, um, heading to Bakewell and Buxton. So, lovely little village. So we thought we'd just take you for a little stroll around, have a look at what's, what's here. And of course there might be a, a coffee in this eye. We found a nice coffee shop. From the bandstand. A bandstand with a, a sign up. It says, erected in accordance with the wishes of Lord George Cavendish for the benefit of Ashford. Yeah, and there's a sign up in it. <laughs> There's a sign up in the bandstand which says erected in accordance with the wishes of Lord George Cavendish for the benefit of Ashford by his widow Lady George Cavendish in 1881. It's been here a while. I don't know whether you see that there. And the plinth was put for the Queen's Jubilee. Silver Jubilee in 1977. Just walking across to have a look at the church.
worth saying that this is something that just wouldn't happen these days. Big tombs like this. It's not a modern day thing. You either get a small headstone or you're cremated. Nothing like these tombs or ornate gravestones were a, a thing from the past really I don't think you'd be able to read this. this. It was to celebrate the millennium in 2000 and it was it's a castellated chimney from vestry roof from around 1205 so quite a bit of history to it. It says about a few different things in the village that happened. Ashwick Cricket Club, founded in pre-1841. Pre pre We've got a grid reference. We're 134 metres above sea level and the population was 469. It's 134 metres above sea level on the River Wye, so a grid reference. 1950 East, 6975 North. Now it's time to go for a coffee. It's just up the road, so it's not far. And on the back of the menu there, actually gives a bit of the history of the village, so we can tell you a little bit more about it there, can't yeah. we? So we're heading for this tea room, which we've been to a couple of times now. It's called Aceford Tea Room. Aceford is the old word for where we are. Alright, if I hear you. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
Focus iron remains to have developed into Ashford, and the suffix of in the water is of quite recent origin, adopted to distinguish the village from other Ashfords in England. The sheep wash bridge was once a pack horse bridge, and until recently sheep were brought to be washed in the water prior to shearing. The concept was to pen lambs on one side of the river and carry the mothers to the in the, in the other side. The mothers would swim towards their young, ensuring a good soaking and a silky fleece. Go <coughs> The village is also famous for its colourful well dressing ceremony, uh, where six wells are dressed with a mass of flowers and petals and leaves. Uh, which have we done any well dressing? We've not done any well dressing ceremony recently. We missed it didn't we? Yeah. last year, so that's another on the to do list. Um, in the past, Ashford was also a centre for candle making, lead mining, and made famous by the discovery of uh, Ashford marble, which was first excavated, extracted by Henry Watson in 1748. Uh, I've never heard of I've never Ashford, heard of Ashford marble. marble. We'll see whether we can find some. See what it looks like. It's very interesting little village. Um, just off the road. I don't know what it is. The main road that goes from Buxton to uh, Bayfront. But if you do want to come to this village, we can recommend this tea room, can't we? It's a really nice coffee, really friendly staff. We're not quite finished looking around yet, so we'll have this and we'll, uh, we'll come out and look at something else. When we first came from coffee here, we came in back into the potting uh, shed or whatever. Really nice little annex to the cafe, tea rooms. We saw a lovely little photograph, very uh, painty, very simple, but it just really caught our eye. That's over there. Love the uh, stonework as well, which you might be getting in. That picture painting there really caught our eye. Very simple, but very effective. Okay, Hello. what have we just realised? We've left our wallet in the car at the other end of the village. <laughs> I'm going to come get them in a bit, or get mine anyway, and uh, leave Daryl as hostage. <laughs> if he's not back soon, come and get me. Come and rescue me, please. What we like. Typical. So we've had a coffee and just carry on the looking around the village. Come with us. The bull shed. And another pub, the Ashford Arms. Might be more of a restaurant that one. Yeah, at the side. Restaurant and inn, so had accommodation. And on the other side of the road, a village shop. And it is Derbyshire, and it's that time of year, so you get all the DVs as well. Too far from some major towns. London, 
London is 154 miles away. Manchester's 34 miles away. And the uh, village hall with modern wooden sculpture. It's uh, we, we've driven past this village quite a bit in, the, bit in the last few years because it's obviously near the caravan, and this was only erected last year, so it is very new. Or carved. It looks like it's uh, yes, carved it's from a tree. So that'll have been done for the. Uh, Anniversary, wasn't it? Yeah. Just on the outskirts of the village is the village cricket club, which apparently they're playing away today. So uh, we'll have to come and video them sometime when they're playing. It has to be one of the most attractive cricket fields, cricket pitches. Nice setting, apart from the road noise. Although I'm not a sports fan, there is nothing like the sound of a cricket ball hitting a bat, or a bat hitting a cricket ball. Leather on willow, I think is the phrase. That's what I meant. It does sound nice. And also the roar of when they do whatever they do. Score, score a run. That's probably the one, yes. <laughs> You're not very up on cricket, are you? No, and it's, uh, it's funny family, because my family, family have got quite a history of cricket. A lot of my family played for local teams years gone by. Some unusual uh, topiary. I think it's topiary, isn't it? I think it's more topiary than popery. Yeah. So we're just walking back to uh, the car and a lovely little village, like uh, Charles says. And what is it? Don't forget the coffee. I said it. If you do come, because it is worth coming for a visit. Don't forget to go to the tea rooms for a coffee and a scone. We didn't have a scone, but they're very nice, apparently. The trees are nice, isn't it? The red one. Mm. Been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin. 